Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some colouring, some colouring and some stress-free art. So I don't do all that much colouring in, but I found a really cute colouring book. I actually originally saw it on Mira Byler's channel. I'll link her down below in the video she did. I'm sure her colouring will be a lot better than mine. But yeah, I just wanted to have a go and I thought I'd share it with you because I know a lot of people on YouTube do like colouring videos and they're quite popular and I just thought you might really like to see this new colouring book that I found. So the colouring book is called Adorable Town by... Illustrated by La Lainey Dow. And it's kind of got a very Japanese style to it. So not only is it kind of this chibi kind of manga style, it's also quite... Some of the illustrations are quite Japanese. So there you've got like a little noodle bar. But they're so cute because it's like little animals running like little imaginary businesses so like a coffee shop with like a coffee thing on the top bookshop with all books on the top very much my kind of style down my street so um i also like that they're not too intricate like they are intricate but they're not actually more kind of reminiscent of a children's coloring book than an adult's coloring books the adult's coloring books do tend to be very very detailed and i just i i lose my patience with them if i'm honest but this one i think will be quite good um the other reason i got this is because later in the year we are going to japan which is so exciting um but the flight is quite long so i thought if i could get something that kind of keeps me busy for a bit of time but also like de-stresses me because it's not always you know the the most uh, pleasant thing flying for 16 hours or whatever so yeah I thought this would be really nice and it'll kind of get me in the mood um that Japanese kind of mood so um but I really wanted to try out with you guys so in terms of what I'll be using to colour with I bought these these are on sale at Hobbycraft at the moment I don't know how long they'll they'll be on um probably going to be ending soon but the half price at the moment crayola brand which is an okay brand it's a kid's brand but it's like the higher quality kind of kid's brand so they are decent supplies at a reasonable price and especially if you can get them on half price they're really good um i've not used i've not really used them before so um i've used the coloring pencils the skin tone ones and those are quite good um i'm not expecting you know or supply quality but um i really liked these colors so usually they come in like bright colors which isn't really my i, I like bright colors but like more pastely ones i prefer so these definitely i think will go really nicely with this coloring book so these are super tips so they have like quite a thick nib Good for covering bigger areas and then these colors of kindness ones which are new absolutely love these these are like a finer nib so great for getting into all those little areas so we'll see what we can do with them i don't know what the coverage is going to be like it's one thing i'm a bit concerned about but i'm going to do a bit of swatching first then there's the color pencils i don't really like using color pencils and coloring books just because I don't know, I get a bit caught up on the shading and stuff and I don't think that's what colouring books should really be about unless you want them to be. But for me, it's just that kind of the colouring in process. It's not making it look like a masterpiece. But I really like these colours anyway. So I'm going to put them in my pot with my other ones. I'll just show you. So I got this really cute Pikachu mug for my birthday. Um, it's not the most practical mug, as you can see. Drinking out of that is a bit of a feat. But really cute pen pot so i'm keeping my pencils in there quite cute so i put them there we could try out the pencils um maybe let me know if you want to see the pencils and we can try them out another time so i have those to try out so i'll quickly give them a swatch in a minute um, I also have a good selection of um, Pro Markers, Windsor Newton Pro Markers. So, well, they used to be Electroset, they changed to Windsor Newton, but I think they're the same ones. I've got quite a good selection of these. Hardly ever use them, so I really should try and use them. But I'm thinking it's the pastel colours more than anything that I'd probably be using here. 
uh, and these will bleed through the page quite considerably so I do have a piece of paper here to put under my page so it doesn't transfer that's what Mira Byler used in hers and it does look really good but I don't know let's let's try the the super tip first so let's have a quick swatch I'm not gonna take long with this if I can help it swatch the super tips on the marker see the coverage is not great it's not really what i'm going for these are like i say they are kids are supplies so you know you can't expect too much it's not bad but it's a bit streaky so and they're not as pastel as i might have wanted them to be i don't know not not maybe not quite what i was wanting but Maybe we try. I mean, they're nice colours. They are nice colours. Maybe. And we'll compare them. Let's put them to one side. Let's try these ones. Too much the same. A nice yellow there. You do have to swatch these because they aren't, I mean, they're not really the same as what they say they are on the cap. So it's always good to swatch before you commit to using a colour. Hmm, okay, maybe we'll try them on a page. Because the colours are nice, they're just just a bit streaky, so maybe we'll try them. Um, let's just, what I'm going to do is put all of these in this pencil case for now, if they'll fit. What I might do is just keep the lids out so I can see the colours. So, answer me down in the comments, do you like colouring books? Do you do colouring books? I know a lot of people do, not necessarily people that I'm into art, but just in general. I, I go on and off them, to be honest. I really like the look of this one, but I haven't coloured in a while, so we'll see. I might get bored with it. Yeah, so the, the alcohol markers, even though that probably does look streaky on the camera, they're really quite a solid colour. It does look quite streaky there, but they are quite quite a solid colour. Um, I should have some that are a bit more pastel based, pastel coloured. Yeah, the grey is really nice for adding shadows and stuff if you want to do that. You can see how solid that colour looks compared to like that but they, they're not too bad actually they're not too bad right so i'm going to get some colors out that i think i may use for this just keep having a bit of a swatch and i'll be back in a second yeah that's a nice purple isn't it i'll be back in a second and we will color in a page okay so i think i've got a nice range of colors here I need to remember that I need to place a sheet under my page. I'm going to zoom out a bit so you can really see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's me. And we will just get on with the colouring. So I'll speed that up a bit. And I'll just do a bit of colouring and we'll see how it goes. We need to choose a page. I'm very much a work from start to finish kind of person. But in this case, I'm not going to do that because I just want to choose... Just want to choose one. I'm thinking maybe not to go for my favourite straight away because if it does go wrong, then you know it's not like I've wrecked my favourite one. But to be fair, it's not about that. It's more just about enjoying the process. Maybe. Don't know whether to use one where we have a bit of a colour reference. to start with. 
or do we just go just go for it maybe i'll do this one this photography one because this one's got quite a big area to cover there and then it's just lots of greens isn't it yeah let's do that one so let me just see how i'm going to do this a sheet underneath The sheet here for a swatch card. Okay, I don't think you can see that. Um, I may need to keep it open somehow. Maybe I'll lay this side down a bit. Okay, let's go on with the colouring. Okay, what I'm finding so far is I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've not used these yet. I feel like I'm, I'm quite happy with the alcohol markers. And what I love about alcohol markers as well, once this is dried a bit, you can go back in with the same colour and create and do another layer and it creates like a shade, a shadow. So even though I've only got two greens that I'm, I'm, I'm liking here, I can now go back in. So this one should have dried by now. I can go back in with this lighter shade and make the leaves that are further back a little bit shaded and that just adds some dim dimension I think and it's a really easy way of doing it you don't need to know much about shading just shading those bits that are further back maybe a little bit of the foreground leaf and it just adds a little bit of shading without having to have another shade of green I mean, by all means, you can add another shade of green, but I think this is a little bit more convincing because it is the same shade. It's just an extra layer. But of course, like I said before, the colouring books, I don't think should be any kind of work of art. It should be more about the, the process and sometimes if you get stressed with shading and things like that it's nice just to colour in the lines just spotted there's a little vending machine in this picture which is really cute did you know just a little bit of a random trivia did you know in japan that there's one vending machine for every 24 people and you can imagine the pop the population of japan 
how massive it is. That's a lot of vending machines. I've made a bit of a mistake here because I've started using the wrong colour on this camera. So I thought I was using this colour to do the vending machine and then I could tell it was a, a different colour. So I think what I'm going to do, I've got mixed up between these two. So it was Fresh Bloom that I'd done and then I think that got hidden under some other markers and I thought it was this one. So I think what I'm going to do is go over this with the pale pink and hope that it kind of ties together a bit better. I did think this was a bit light anyway, so go ahead and do that. Yeah, I think that, that ties in better than, than it was before. So, uh, a little bit of shading. Now I'm really stuck on what colour to make these flashy bits. Because I don't really know. Maybe just grey, to be honest. Um, yeah, maybe we'll see what grey looks like. <laughs> Okay, I think that's done. I'm quite pleased with that for my first attempt in this colouring book. Yeah, then it was really enjoyable. I think I'd definitely do some of that on the plane. Um, and just whenever I feel like a bit of colouring. Um, there is quite a bit of bleed through. I knew that that was going to happen. But the, the great thing about this book is it's not double sided. So it's not really an issue. Um, just ugh, gotta be careful even with one sheet of paper there it has bled through a little bit but not too much so it's, it's not right that I can go over that with another colour but yeah that's really really nice 
coloring book so i'll leave the link in the description to where you can get this coloring book it's like off amazon but i will leave a link and let me know what you think like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this and don't forget to pop in the comments um let me know what you think about coloring books and whether you enjoy doing them or not so thank you for joining me today and i will see you soon bye guys